Let's take some more uh, uh, um, subjects. Listen to this. A council is allowing its schools to teach paganism to pupils, it emerged today. Lincolnshire County Council raised the issue of whether paganism should be added to the religious education curriculum at a recent meeting. The county's RE advisor questioned whether study of pagan doctrine should be added to the six, six world religions currently studied in schools. It was decided that individual schools can choose whether they wish to teach paganism to pupils or not. Minutes from the meeting on religious education revealed the bizarre discussion. It said that uh, they were looking into uh, paganism, which encompasses many non-Christian religious traditions, celebrates nature, and worships many deities, both goddesses and gods. Pagans view the cycle of the natural year as a model of spiritual growth and renewal, and celebrates uh, festivals at important times in the year. Now, I have a conversation lined up with the very first ever white witch that I have ever met. I'm assuming you don't have to be actually white in colour to be a British white witch, and neither do you have to be a woman to be a witch, evidently, because the high priest of British white witches is a man called Kevin Carleon. So I'm fascinated to hear more. Kevin, welcome to the show. Good evening to you. You're not out on your broomstick then? Is, um, it, is it the midnight hour you take to that? I don't, actually. The last time I took my broomstick out for a spin, it was on EasyJet, believe it or not. And, um, <laughs> you know, I got some very, very strange looks. But uh, it is part of the, you know, the, the, the things associated with witches really, in reality. Tell me, first of all, why why you're called white witches. Uh, basically, it means with the goodies. Um, a bit like Sabrina, uh, but without the boobies, obviously. Um, getting involved in all sorts of things, ranging from healing, um, linking spiritually to people, um, even going as far as sometimes dealing with exercising evil spirits. Exorcising evil spirits, aha. Uh -huh. You don't uh, believe in God, you believe in many gods, I presume. Uh, paganism uh, does encompass all sorts of um, different traditions and different ways of worship. It's not just a, um, a singular system, you know, like Christianity, but we do believe that there is a, an all-powerful God and a goddess, but it's found uh, within ourselves as opposed to, you know, being in the sky or an external um, deity. But you do worship idols, don't you? You worship uh, stones. Um, the, the actual gathering of stone beliefs, uh, stone um, circles and that sort of thing, that does really um, have nothing to do with the ancient paganism that was, um, in this country. It's more of a, um, a kind of a modern day... Uh, trying to think of the right word to put it, actually. Not, not invention, but it's linked with paganism, but not, not necessarily meaning it's linked with the past. Now, what about the sexual license, which is, uh, was alluded to by Karen by text uh, just a few minutes ago, uh, the wicker man and all that? Um, Are you particularly promiscuous people? Us, personally, in my groups, um, not necessarily, no. I mean, uh, to me, uh, first thing, I've never um, worked naked in a group. That is one of the, you know, the, the, the traditions that supposedly witches always, you know, dance around naked, sky-clad. Um, but that is a choice of each individual who's uh, basically based in this belief system. Don't use the word religion, because the minute you, you mention the word religion, it's kind of meaning, you know, brings up war, if you like, you know, worshipping the same deity, but in different, many different ways. Um, some covens do incorporate sex in their rituals, others don't. Um, but it's only because in the uh, 1950s, when Wicca um, either came out of the closet or was invented, shall we say, by Gerald Gardner, that the sexual side and the nudism and everything was actually put into it all. I think that's what attracts some people, isn't it? It is indeed. Um, obviously, you're going to get people that are attracted to the secrecy, um, to the nudism and all that sort of thing. But, I mean, t to be honest, it's nothing funnier than seeing a group of nude people dancing around because all they're doing is looking at each other's um, bits and boobs sort of touch. <laughs> 